In this video, we will see a list of the seven best and seven worst vegetables for diabetics. It's not about creating fear of food or labeling things as good or bad. Instead, it's about empowering you with the knowledge to make informed decisions about your diet and health. Do you know which vegetables are best and worst for people with this type of problem? Welcome. Today we are going to discover the best and worst vegetables for people facing diabetes. Diet plays a pivotal role in managing diabetes. It's not just what you eat, but also how much and when you eat that matters. And when it comes to vegetables, some can be surprisingly beneficial, while others may not be the health heroes they are often touted to be. So let's dive into the world of vegetables to figure out which are your best friends and which are foes if you are a diabetic. Starting with the good guys, our first three best vegetables for diabetics are broccoli, spinach, and bell peppers. Let's delve into why these veggies are superstars in a diabetic diet. Our first contender, broccoli, is a dynamo of dietary fiber, a key component in maintaining a balanced blood sugar level. It's also loaded with antioxidants and vitamin C, which help in boosting your immune system. Broccoli also contains a compound called sulforaphane, which plays a significant role in controlling insulin resistance and blood glucose levels. A study conducted on diabetic individuals revealed that this chemical compound lowers blood glucose levels by more than 10%. Cruciferous vegetables such as broccoli stand out for their abundance of fiber, as well as their natural low sugar content. Furthermore, they can also provide a lasting feeling of satiety. Next up we have spinach. This leafy green is a powerhouse of magnesium, which can help regulate your blood sugar levels. Plus, it's low in carbs and calories, making it a perfect choice for a diabetic diet. Spinach also contains alpha-lipoic acid, which helps reduce glucose levels and increases insulin sensitivity. As for nutrients and minerals, spinach is rich in iron, calcium, magnesium, and potassium. In addition, it also contains vitamins A, complex B, C, E, and K. To give you an idea, a single cup of cooked spinach supplies the amount of vitamins A and K we need per day. Despite being very nutritious and beneficial for health, the nutritionist warns that its consumption should be moderate because excess can cause problems for our body. One moment please. If our video is useful to you, then subscribe to our channel, leave a like, and don't forget to share to help other people. Lastly, we have bell peppers. These colorful veggies are packed with vitamin C and antioxidants. They're also low in carbs, which is good news for anyone monitoring their blood sugar levels. These vegetables are not only delicious, but also packed with nutrients essential for managing diabetes. Red pepper is rich in antioxidants, such as lycopene, which brings benefits in reducing cardiovascular problems in turn. It is also rich in vitamin C and vitamin E. It is the type that has the highest levels of ascorbic acid and beta carotene, 10 times more than green peppers. Its consumption is recommended for people with diabetes due to its hypoglycemic properties and also to alleviate the symptoms of those suffering from psoriasis. Continuing on with our list of diabetic-friendly vegetables, let's dive into the next four nutritious picks. Cucumbers, a refreshing choice, are low in carbs, making them a great addition to any diabetic diet. They also pack a punch with their high water content, promoting hydration and aiding in digestion. Moving on to celery, don't be fooled by its humble appearance. This crunchy veggie is not only low in carbohydrates, but also a good source of antioxidants and beneficial enzymes, supporting overall health. Celery can help lower blood sugar due to its fiber content and antioxidant action. Therefore, including this vegetable in your diet may have benefits for people with prediabetes or diabetes. Next up, cabbage, a versatile vegetable that's high in fiber and packed with vitamins C and K. It's a fantastic choice for those managing their blood sugar levels. This powerhouse vegetable is not only low in carbs, but also rich in vitamins and minerals. It's a great substitute for higher carb foods like rice and potatoes. These vegetables, besides being low in carbs and high in fiber, offer a variety of health benefits that are perfect for diabetics. There are many myths surrounding foods for people with diabetes. It is important to say that there is no magic food. A person with diabetes must have a varied diet. Eating well, uh, now you will learn about the seven vegetables that may not bring health benefits to diabetics. Vegetables that diabetics may want to avoid are those high in carbohydrates and low in fiber. Too many carbohydrates and too little fiber are factors that can cause an increase in blood sugar levels, making it more difficult to control diabetes. While these vegetables aren't necessarily bad, 
they might be less suitable for those trying to control their blood sugar levels. Let's find out which vegetables diabetics might want to avoid or eat in moderation. Starting our list of worst vegetables for diabetics, we have potatoes, corn, and peas. Now, it's not that these vegetables are inherently bad. They are, in fact, packed with essential nutrients. But here's the catch. They are high in starch, a type of carbohydrate that breaks down into sugar in your body. This can lead to rapid increases in blood glucose levels, which isn't ideal for someone managing diabetes. Take white potatoes, for instance. They have a high glycemic index, meaning they can quickly spike your blood sugar levels. Corn, while a good source of fiber and vitamins, is also high in carbs, leading to a similar effect. And peas, though rich in protein and fiber, are again, high in starch. So while these vegetables can be part of a balanced diet, they should be consumed with caution by diabetics. These vegetables, while nutritious, can cause blood sugar spikes if not eaten in moderation. Continuing with our list of vegetables that diabetics should be cautious with, let's start with beets. Beets are packed with essential nutrients, but their high sugar content can cause blood sugar levels to spike. Next, we have carrots. While a great source of vitamin A, carrots' sweet taste comes from their elevated sugar levels, making them less suitable for diabetics. Third on our list are parsnips. These earthy veggies contain a significant amount of carbs, which can negatively impact blood sugar control. And we have the pumpkin. Despite being a source of vitamins and fiber, pumpkin's high carbohydrate content can pose a problem for those controlling diabetes. Just like everything else in life, moderation is key. While these vegetables are not inherently bad, their higher carbohydrate and sugar content necessitates mindful consumption, especially for those with diabetes. While these vegetables have their own health benefits, their high carbohydrate content can be a concern for diabetics. Before we recap, you might want to watch our video, Recognizing 8 Nocturnal Signs of Diabetes. So there you have it, the best and worst vegetables for diabetics. To recap, it's crucial to consume nutrient-packed veggies like broccoli and spinach, but limit starchy options like potatoes and corn. But remember, it's not just about the type of vegetables, but also the quantity. Portion control is key in maintaining blood sugar levels. Remember, managing diabetes doesn't mean you have to give up all your favorite foods. It's all about balance and moderation. Stay healthy and see you next time.